Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am your in-flight service director, Kylie Faith Caparos, and on behalf of today's flight crew, we would like to welcome you aboard Ross Air Flight 2022, bound for the Philippine International English School. We wish you an enjoyable flight this morning, and you are encouraged to utilize the service button on your seat if passenger assistance is needed. Please, Fasten your seat belts, shut down the blinds, and refix your client seats into the upright position as we prepare for takeoff. Once again, welcome aboard Ross Air, your reading and writing airline of choice. Good morning, amazing Pisans. I am your pilot for today's adventure, Dan Joseph Tagra, and I welcome you aboard Ross Air, your reading and writing airline of choice. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet at an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 10 a.m. The weather looks good, and with the tailwind on our side, we are expecting to land approximately 15 minutes ahead of schedule. The weather in the Philippine International English School is clear and sunny, with a temperature of 25 degrees for this afternoon. If the weather cooperates, we should get a great view of the city as we descend. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes to offer you a snack and beverage. And the in-flight movies will begin shortly after that. Lastly, we welcome you to the Gurung Vlogger Nang Kuei channel. We hope you enjoy the video. <music> People who board planes to get somewhere are compared as passengers of a plane, but are contrasted based on who they are and their purpose for flying with us. They have different humanistic qualities and experiences. Like our passengers, the flight crew is compared and contrasted as well. The on-air flight crew consists of the pilot and flight attendants, being the aircraft service crew that assists passengers. However, by contrast, the pilot drives the plane while the flight attendants are technically waiters to the passengers. In comparison, both roles are on-air service workers, but in contrast, they serve different purposes for the plane. So in the flight industry, the process of comparing and contrasting roles and services are important in giving the best quality service we can offer to our clients. Good morning, ma'am and sir. Here is today's snack menu. For today, we are offering the chicken curry and the beef tortellini. Both are amazing meals. However, the chicken curry is great for those who are craving an Asian cuisine dish and a spicy hitch, while the beef tortellini is for those who want something Italian and are craving for a creamy type of pasta both in the long run, are able to satisfy the nutritional values needed for today's flight. Using the art of compare and contrast, we are able to communicate with our passengers and not just indicate the roles of our team. So for today's lunchtime, you are able to choose what your heart desires based on my compare and contrast. Whenever you're making some sort of choice, you're always making a compare and contrast between two or more options given to you in order to get the bag out of your buck. For definition, comparison entails dealing with the likeness or similarities of two or more things. The beef tortellini and chicken curry are both carnivorous meals which contain animal meat and are also able to satisfy an average person's nutritional values. Contrast, on the other hand, is tackling the differences between or among topics. So, just as the beef tortellini and chicken curry may compare, the beef tortellini is still different in ingredients, cuisine, and flavor. Same goes for the chicken curry. So, which one will it be? Attention Pisans! We will now be playing the flight safety briefing video for your own safety aboard today's Rouse Air flight to the Philippine International English School. Please do pay close attention to the monitor in front of you, and we hope you enjoy it to further expand your knowledge 
about using comparison and contrast in paragraph development. Thank you. Greetings! Welcome aboard Roz Air Flight 2022. This is your flight safety briefing that will take on the importance of flight safety and paragraph development with comparison and contrast. In today's briefing, comparing and contrasting the things you should and should not do is important to be knowledgeable of the safety guidelines on board. An essay that uses comparison and contrast as its primary mode of paragraph development is an essay that tackles the likeness or similarities and differences of at least two topics. Using this, we wish to persuade you through an unbiased discussion about the safety guidelines about flying with us. We also wish that you are entertained by how we are to present the content of this to you today through enhancing the rarely perceived relationship of these topics to create similarities to entice your interest. Comparison and contrast is known to inadvertently lead the reader into an insight about the human experience. This can be seen in the essay excerpt, The Filipino Woman, Cory Aquino, and Leonor Rivera, who is the real-life Maria Clara, Gabriela Silang, and Imelda Marcos, by Carmen Guerrero Nakpil. The excerpt compared and contrasted both duos and showcase their benefit to modern-day feminism. To locate these comparisons and contrasts, a Venn diagram is usually used. Leonor Rivera is considered as a symbol of the pure Filipina, flaunting all of the expected values a Filipina must display. Her calmness and virtuosity made her stand out. Similarly, Cory Aquino was also a symbol of a pure Filipina, with all of the expected values, however, Different was how she was considered to be strong and dominant, unlike the submissive Leonor. Aquino was a leader in the likes of Gabriela Silang, who sought vengeance for the death of her husband, Diego Silang. Gabriela was a dominant woman who chose to lead her people, just like Cory Aquino. Same goes for Imelda Marcos, however, outshined the two through her flexibility when it came to solving situations and garnering tons of riches in order to become an overachiever. All these Filipinas have their different qualities but are compared through how they are all a symbol of the true Filipina. They are all dominant in flaunting their qualities and confident in making a mark on history. They collectively showcase the true values of being a Filipina and are all so uniquely mattered that they compare through being the symbol of what a Filipina must be. A Filipina may be submissive in nature, but dominant in her own being and ways of coping with life. She knows how to get what she wants and will not back down for the sake of the masculine counterpart. A Filipina is not subjected to the restrictions of being Maria Clara, but to the starting point of being Leonor Rivera, wherein she is not restricted to be simply submissive and calm, but expected to grow out of her shell and improve to become the equivalent dominance of the likes of Cory Aquino, Gabriela Silang, and Imelda Marcos. Using comparison and contrast, we can also use figurative language, the main source of figuratively describing today's on-air flight scenarios are with analogies. An analogy is a common technique that writers use to demonstrate comparison and contrast in a figurative way. It delves beneath the differences of at least two subjects that have unexpected differences or similarities. As a sword is the weapon of a knight, the plane is the weapon of a pilot. Welcome aboard to Ross Air 2022. Please pay attention as we show you the safety features of this aircraft. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Insert the metal fittings one into the other and tighten them by pulling on the loose ends of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. As a shield is the security of a knight, a seatbelt is a security of the passenger. 
There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. We are able to use similes in describing the safety precaution. A simile is a direct comparison among subjects. They almost always use like and as. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. The floor lighting is as bright as the stars in the sky, making the path even clearer for your comfort. A life vest is located in a pouch underneath your seat or between the armrests. The life vest is like a pillar for your safety. It is as soft as a cushion when inflated. Only take it out and inflate it by pulling on the strings when you are instructed to. Hi sir, can you please wear your life vest? We are taking a water landing and the life vest is as safe as your household. No, I'm not gonna wear it. I don't wanna wear it. The life vest is like a snake that chokes you. Sir, if you don't wanna swim like a fish, you have to put the life vest on. At this time, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode until an announcement is made upon arrival. Not changing your device's setting to airplane mode is the hell of a smooth takeoff. The word hell is a metaphor for how not setting your device to airplane mode interferes with the plane's navigation signals. A metaphor is an indirect comparison among objects. Excuse me, sir. We know you're smoking inside the lavatory. Smoking is not allowed here. Smoking is arson to the aircraft. So please get out of the lavatory or the door is going to be cracked nut. An oxymoron happens when two seemingly opposite terms are just opposed to each other in a single expression. They are usually contradicting words that make sense together. Examples would be phrases like the ugly truth and dead in childbirth. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position, leaning forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Remember to act naturally in the situation and don't be a big baby as this situation is a simple complication. The landing should be acted on seriously as the slightest positive mistake can lead to a bittersweet ending. Oxymorons used in this stage of the safety brief are bittersweet, big baby, positive mistake, and simple complication, where they all contradict each other. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. The oxygen mask breathes for you. During decompression, the oxygen mask is your number one supporter in breathing. Secure your mask first and then assist the other person. Keep your mask on until you are informed by a crew member that it is okay to remove it. Oxygen masks are personified with the phrases breeds for you and number one supporter. This is what we call personification. Personification is when non-humans such as objects and animals are assigned human characteristics and actions. As we have gone over all of the necessary safety precautions, the cabin crew will now perform a final look around as a final check. Thank you and welcome aboard Ross Air Flight 2022, your reading and writing airline of choice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Tagra speaking. And on behalf of Ross Air, we welcome you to the Philippine International English School. The local time is now 3.30. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and keep the aisles clear until we park at the gate. Thank you again for flying with Rouse Air, your reading and writing airline of choice. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We thank you for watching.